All right, so the the basic boom chuck root five root five bass line, and doing C chord bass chord C chord G chord. So just back and forth. And do it super slowly. You know, you, you're a practice musician, so you know the drill. The rule is always practice everything slowly and accurately. It's the only way, the only way, the only way you're going to get that speed is to practice super slow. Feel for that G. Come back to the C chord. Root chord five chord. And then a good second chord to practice would be to go to like to the G7. You know, so like if I did Marietta Little or something. Also notice that I'm putting a little extra emphasis on the bass notes and letting the chords be shorter and less out front. I played them together, bass and chord together. So here's another pattern. Um, like we talked about, you have the major third here. So you can incorporate root three five as a bass line. Like a calypso. Calypso figure has that. One two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two boop a doo bop boop bop boop and I can fill in the in between eighth notes with the chord. One two three one two three one two one and then the G seven That's a fun one to practice. Use parallel sixths. That's a fun one. Another fun practice pattern to work on is um, my teacher refers to it as rumba it's kind of it's more like a Cuban bolero kind of figure <laughs> so for this I'm choosing minor just kind of stylistically it sounds cool and again it only only uses the root and the fifth so root chord chord five chord five chord root chord chord five I'm using the c minor chord the whole time that's a nice one to get under your fingers g7 sometimes i'll use the counter bass to take me back when i'm on that g7 
that's a really fun. I can I can use that pattern over most Latin grooves, even if the tempo goes up. And the tempo kicks up. Another groove I like to use over um, under Latin stuff is again that one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. It's the three side of the clave. If you're familiar with clave concepts, but I do bass chord chord bass chord chord. So like I I like to play uh, caravan. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh no, I'm still playing the rumba. There we go. I use that a lot with um, Latin grooves. Okay, one more bass pattern. This is stuff that you're going to work on for like the next two years. <laughs> we'll give you one more. Blues, standard blues at walking line. One good old, good old one three five six flat seven six five three one. So in C, C E G A B flat A G E C. But the challenge is to put a C seven in between each one. On that is three, 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 four, 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 three, three. Middle, 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 ring, 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 middle, middle. Same thing on the F chord. And only one three five three on the G. There's actually a little walk up I like to do here. This old Potosa that hasn't been worked on in 50 years. Another old teacher of mine gave this to me. So, when it comes to right hand, left hand together, man, you just gotta go nice and slow. Keep it real simple. You know, one thing you can do is just... Basic scale pattern just to get your hands moving together. Change rhythm, maybe half note. Articulation of the right hand. Short, a lot of wrist, a lot of bounce. 
short, crisp articulations. Versus piano technique, you'd lean into it. Like trying to play more legato. It's kind of standard accordion articulation. It's short and detached like that. And even when you're working on the, like, here's C minor. On that rumba pattern, the bolero pattern. kind of practice of a simple scale passage in the right hand while you're working out patterns with the left hand it really helps in the long run and then eventually you can you know you you just one day you're, you're free and you can <laughs> you just it frees you up but it's a it's a lot of time so there's about yeah about two years worth of stuff to <laughs> to work on <laughs>